Applying the Laws of Nature. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 524. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our April 9th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is applying the laws of nature. And everything you see happening in the background of our video here is our idea of creating radical sustainability and applying the laws of nature that are rebalancing, regenerative, and sustainable. That's really what we're doing because right now humanity is not living sustainability. By definition, we are not sustainable because we are taking more than we give to the planet and we can't continue to do that. We cannot pretend and continue to pretend to live that to, we cannot continue to live on this planet pretending that we have infinite resources when in reality we live in a finite world. You know, we have limited resources and we're using them like they're not limited. You know, and all this while we have the ability to live sustainably in all aspects of our life. And so one community is creating those open source solutions. You know, and the question is, is like, well, if we have the ability to like do all these things, why haven't we already done it? Well, for a few different reasons. First of all, uh, you know, I don't think most people realized how grim the problem was. And it wasn't really until fairly, re I mean, almost instantaneously re immediately that we realized we can create, we're actually having an impact on this planet on a global scale. We have the ability to impact the planet negatively. I mean, that concept is relatively new you know, and really new for a lot of people. But for humanity as a species, like we didn't really figure this out until the last hundred years. Like, oh wait, we can do things that poison our entire ocean. Like we've spread plastic across the entire planet. You know, there's plastic in places where people have never even heard of plastic. You know, there's plutonium in places where people have never heard of plutonium. You know, we dropped the bomb and bam, plutonium on the entire planet, Fukushima. You know, as an example of nuclear, anyway, I could go on and on and on. So applying the laws of nature positively to all the aspects of the human experience is what One Community is about. And we've divided it into two different categories because we see the ability to create a world that works for everybody. We have the ability to create an amazing world that meets the needs of all people everywhere and to simultaneously address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come. We have the ability to address all the foundations of, of survival, of course, which are the foundations of sustainability, food, energy, and housing, and not just to address these issues, but to eat the freshest, most diverse food possible, the most nutritious food possible, which of course isn't going to be sprayed with poison, you know, to have energy that is supplied by 100% renewable means and will last you know, to be able to build houses that last longer than the houses we are building right now, built from natural materials, without toxic materials, creative, and, you know, through earthbag construction, things like that, we can build houses that will stand for hundreds of years. You know, and then, of course, addressing social architecture so that we have environments that really feed the human soul and the human spirit and that are based on growth and development of the person. You know, education models that are the same. We talk about these, we call them highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education. You know, economic models that are built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. You know, as well as stewarding, true or stewarding, steward, stewarding all of this, putting it all together in one place and showing what's truly possible. And this is it, like applying the laws of nature from our perspective is about looking at humanity as a part of the ecosystem, 
as a keystone species within the ecosystem and recognizing that we have the ability through stewardship to expand ecosystems and our part within them by including all these different things and to expand biodiversity by stewarding all this and to give more than we take, to recognize that we can be a keystone species that creates a trophic cascade of positivity for every living thing that we are interacting with. And so this is what we're capable of. And what's different now from any other time in humanity is that we have the internet revolution has already happened. And we now have the ability to collaborate, collaborate globally and to share the results of that collaboration globally for free through open source and free sharing of the tools, tutorials, resources and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living, highest good food, highest good energy, highest good housing, highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and the stewardship. Put all this together in one place. Share that with the world in such a way that the world can come and visit. People from anywhere in the world can come and experience what it is we're doing and spread this model globally, positively and permanently, impacting this planet for everybody, reaching that tipping point, that critical mass, creating a legacy of positive change that our children, our grandchildren, and their children and grandchildren will be able to, be able to benefit from, maintain, and carry forward because it's a better way of living than the way that people are living right now. To address scarcity, you know, to provide such abundance and a path for sharing that abundance such that we're not giving a person a fish. We're not even teaching a person to fish. We are teaching fisher people how to teach fishing. And one community is defining that as teacher demonstration hubs that teach all these aspects, the food, the energy, the housing, fulfilled living, demonstrate all this stuff in one place, invite people to participate, show them that it's all open source and free shared and can be easily replicated around the world and teach people exactly how much time and energy and resources it's going to require to replicate this and demonstrate as a better way of living, a new way of living that's better than the way that people are living right now. Like these are the global sustainability systems that we're creating. And this is what makes us the number one global sustainability systems company in the world is because we've been working on it for the last 12 years, over 700 volunteers from every continent except for Antarctica contributing to this project to create solution models designed to create additional solution creating models, solutions that create solutions, you know? And we are ready for this, right? We're ready for this. It's time, we have the ability to create this and to share it globally and to address the challenges, the greatest challenges of our generation. We can address food insecurity, you know, we can address, address lack of energy infrastructure, we can address home homelessness, as well as toxic environments that we're living in. You know, we can address the foundations of cancer by not spraying poisons and toxins on our food that we're eating. You know, we can create these enriching environments, we can address the education model, we can address social injustice and inequality, we can address all these things and need to and should address them all simultaneously. And we create teacher demonstration hubs that teach, teach others how to build teacher demonstration hubs as well. You know, applying a solution instead of a band-aid to this systemic challenge that we're dealing with in such a way that we address it systemically and permanently. That's applying the laws of nature. So this is what one community is doing. If you love what we're up to, you'd like a, a weekly dose of positivity and world change in your inbox, like and subscribe, ring that bell, Subscribe to our newsletter through our website. If you'd like to see exactly what our 100% volunteer team has accomplished in the last week, visit our website and visit our weekly progress update blog and you can see that. If you'd like to see all the open source content, all the tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions that we're creating, visit our website. And of course, if you'd like to help out our algorithm, stick around for a couple minutes, watch the big bullet points about all the major components of our project. And if you'd like to help, visit our helping page. <laughs> so with that said, thanks for watching to the end. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models.
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.